Well, I don't believe we've recorded anything for March 3rd. It is 23 hours and 40 minutes into the uh, third day of March uh, 2021. The day started late, but I was up and out the do out the door. Uh, by 6 p.m., uh, I had a, I went to church. I did some uh, some technical work on the sound system there. Uh, then came back here. Had something to eat. Did some gaming. And now I'm in the process of sitting down and watching some YouTube, mulling over some thoughts and ideas of where things are going, where things over the last few days have gone. There has been a number of uh, issues that I've had to work on and a possible shift in direction but that's going to not I'm not going to necessarily understand that shift or realize it until in the next couple of days. We'll sort of see how that plays out and that will sort of determine where I'm going from here. I am in, if you see the eyes closed, when my eyes are closed a lot, uh, like this, I am in a bit of a burnout mode. The body's exhausted, the body's tired. And that's kind of how I feel right now. So at this point in time, in sort of an in-between state, there's no conversation. There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing to say. There's no conversation right now. Maybe we'll come later on. While we're back, it is uh, just about uh, 29, 21 hours and uh, 47 minutes into the fourth day of March uh, 2021. It is a Thursday, and I'm heading into a very long weekend of meditation. Uh, it will be almost two all-nighters kind of in a row. So it'll be Friday night and Saturday will be the all-nighter. And then Saturday night and Sunday will also be an all-nighter. Uh, no sleep. Uh, no sleep at all. And we'll see what happens. Uh, because it goes, the meditation goes all the way into Sunday evening. So I will not be back at my place until basically... Uh, Monday night around 10 o'clock, so the vlog will have to be off-site. It'll be in my usual place in the, uh, in my old office, uh, in the basement of my house. Uh, that's where the vlogging will be, it'll be our discussion, if you will. And things are, are, are kind of turning, as said before, when you're in a situation, um, like I'm in, to a certain degree, that's just not uniqueness of it to me. Oh, I'm trying to think of the analogy, how to sort of explain this, because again, it, it is a gnosis thing. It is the path thing. And when I talk about gnosis, I'm talking particularly about the path and the journeys along the path. Often have various different points, and the, it's interesting to talk about the points because the points are rememberable. They're eventful. Uh, these are the points where you end up stopping and staying for a bit. Uh, and it does become a bit of a rest. Uh, and it's before you end up moving on and start your long trek again to the next point, uh, assuming you know where the next point is. A lot of times when you start off uh, from one point or, 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 or you've finished a point and you're, you, you've taken that long rest and you're now rested and ready to get back on the road again, you really don't know where the things are going. You just know that you have to go and you start walking along. And my dreams kind of follow suit. They, they don't have anything particular in them. They're not particularly uh, 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 eventful in terms of uh, something to really remember. It's just sort of uh, the last uh, few that I've been having are more about uh, what, it would, what, what it might be like in my afterlife. What, what the different scenarios could be uh, in another life, after 
things have passed here, and I am elsewhere in terms of where I am, and uh, my existence is beyond the uh, line of death. And so, well, what what is going to be my existence? How am I going to live? Uh, what's my place going to look like? Um, uh, lifestyle, so on and so forth. These different things. And that's pretty much from what I've seen. It's going to be like this. It's going to be still pretty much within neutral Jin or neutral Jing. However, you, there, there are two pronunciations. And it's an, the neutral Jin or the neutral Jing is an introduction from within uh, Ang the Last Lavatar that has larger implications further along in as you get deeper into it. But neutral Jin, neutral Jing is a way to introduce this. Uh, it's an introduction to what I'm doing. It is not the thing in its entirety. It's just sort of, again, the issue is how do you explain the different experiences you have that are spiritual that you cannot share on camera because you cannot go into the mind, you cannot go into the soul with the camera. You can't vlog in the other spaces, the other existences. So you have to describe the events that go on in the other existences, the feelings, the uh, the understandings, the events that occur. But again, there is a there is a a a difficulty in placing any degree or term to any exacting point. In other words, there, you cannot describe things exactly. You can give a description, but the description will always be, well, as in calculus, always an approximate. And not a very good one, because it doesn't matter, in, in, your, in your approximation, it never matters how much, how good your approximation is, you're always infinitely far away from the point. You never achieve the point. You never get. You never <laughs> shrink the distance between the infinite and where you are. It's still infinite, infinitely far away. And so this is what puts you in the the, the light of infinite tween, infinite middle school, assuming that you're going to continue along this path. Now, if you give up and sort of say, "Well, that's it for me," then that doesn't occur. That you're not infinite tween. You're not infinite uh, middle school because you've quit school. You've quit the uh, path and you. Sort of just there where you are, <laughs> and the thing is, of course, you can fool yourself into in, into calling yourself, a, you know, an expert, a guru, you know, giving the implication or, or a bishop, giving the implication that you are this authority on this particular subject or or whatever you think you're great at. Uh, but again, it's, it's difficult. To, these things are if you're really on the path, you never get much further than middle school, and it's extremely difficult to sort of uh, give or impart a very good feeling in terms of understanding how my experience is. So, it's a lot of times it's this fumbling, it's, well, the conversation back here, uh, seeing how things end up going, and it's somewhat of a vlog, but it's all, because, see, a vlog is a video log. It's a, it's a, it's a journal of your day. It's like taking your diary and putting it into video format. Some of the things you can talk about and some of the things you can't talk about. It really depends on your comfort level in terms of what you bring out in terms of your personal existence. And the thing is, is that when you talk about something in the dreams, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's what the person has done. What happens, it takes various different emotions and behaviors and plays it out in your dream to see how you respond to the various different sort of interactions that go on. And this is what makes the whole issue of neutral jinn or neutral jing an, an, an issue is how do you respond to something? Are you triggered? Are you, you know, calm about it? Or are you able to sort of stand back and sort of hear the environment, be, be in a listening position. Like a lot, a large chunk of my interactions on Instagram aren't like that. It's, it's, they, they, it, the people call themselves woke, they feel they're woke, but they have no connection to history. And so when you bring up something historic, you'll, you'll, you'll have a discussion, you bring up something historic, they immediately go, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Not necessarily considering or understanding that this is history. That things are like, like 
what you're seeing today in terms of the Great Fart Panic has occurred before. This isn't something that's new. And the thing is, is that the reference to Hitler isn't necessarily a... It is, again, a conspiracy theory because people like Hitler have occurred before in history, and they still are occurring. This is still part of history, and you need to understand history in order to really understand where we're going because in many cases we, we repeat history. History repeats itself. And this is what we're such as The situation we're in now is like that of the 1930s, where you have top doctors and top scientists leading us towards something horrible, which is something like like Auschwitz and Dachau, like like, like the um, Holocaust. The Holocaust, as I said, was at the tip of everything. It was at the end. This is it was the end point. And then even when they thought they were going to succeed, they collapsed. And then things started, slowly started all over again. Started over from the 1950s. Again, the 1950s was not what most people think it was. Uh, the 1960s, again, was another step forward. Um, 1970s, same thing. And then you have a sort of repetition in history of, of various different events, various different uh, uh, perspectives that sort of ran the elites. And you had the anarchists on both sides, left and right, who were doing the dirty work of beating people up and forcing people into various different positions. It hasn't been, this is not something new. The theft of an election is not something new. Electing somebody who is simply a puppet is not new. This is something that has been going on for a very long time. But as soon as you talk to the person now, you talk to them about history, oh, these are assumptions of the right-wing conspiracy. And because you don't agree with me, I'm not going to continue to talk to you. Okay, well, come Conversation's over. And then you have, but you have people standing up and say, we want to have an open discussion. How? How do you have an open discussion when one side refuses to have anything else to do with anything that they're, but their own ideas, their own opinion? They're not willing to even look or consider other perspectives. There's the bus. Well, we're vlogging from the bed once again. <laughs> As I'm just now getting up. It's about uh, 10 past 5, so it's uh, 17 hours. And 10 minutes into the day of March 5th. It's Friday. Uh, I'm going to be going to church in a little bit. And uh, I think it's March 5th. Uh, my days are kind of off again. I just, I'm sort of getting up. I've been mulling over some of the dreams. Interesting dream. This was the dream. Uh, the last dream was a dream where I was multiple people uh, in the dream. It just wasn't one person. It was multiple people uh, jumping back and forth. As the scenario continued, uh, I was uh, a number of multiple people. Uh, a number of people at the same uh, within the dream, not at the exact same time. It just sort of seemed that that it's, uh, you know, as one thing situation needed to be dealt with, and and there were different emotions to deal with. I jumped from uh, person to person to person. A, a large chunk of uh, of the dreams are actually uh, in the sense where I'm figuring out how life is going to be afterwards. So uh, it is a sense of reality. It is a sense of uh, of trying to uh, develop a focus. Uh, and that, that that's the big pro problem, is the focus. It's, it's, there are so many distractions, things that pull you away, things that sort of grab your attention, and it shouldn't. But at the same time, it does. It, it does grab your attention. It does uh, 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 pull your uh, pull your focus away from uh, where it should be. And this is uh, this is an issue. It, it does have a bearing. It does have a uh, 
of significance. But again, these are the things that are always to be worked on. And so once I've, I've coming out of my dream now, I'm going uh, for a long weekend to all nighters uh, in terms of meditation. And so we'll practice these things. And I'm pretty sure the dreams are going to shift again over the weekend uh, because I'm doing the two all nighters. It's, it's, but the, this is the way it goes. This is part of the practice. This is part of the uh, of the mundane. This is how how things end up working out. Uh, and there are going to be some shifts in how I do things because, uh, or I said before that uh, I've been working on uh, different ideas, and as these dreams sort of help me sort of figure out how I feel about things, uh, I can develop new directions uh, and take things in a better way. And that sometimes again, it does take time. It takes time to sort of figure out when you've finished one set of goals, uh, where you want to go next, where are the next possible uh, points you want to head towards, because there are multiple of them. There's there's many of them, so. Uh, anyways, I'm going to get, get, I'm going to get up now. This, this is uh, literally getting out of bed uh, at uh, just about quarter past five in the afternoon, and we're going to start our day. While it's one o'clock in the morning, on March 6, 2021. And uh, we're here for another long weekend. Cause not just, not Saturday, it's Friday. It was Friday into Saturday, so it's Saturday morning. And this is what I mean, no, duh, no mornings, no evenings, no whatever. Got a package opening here. And that's what we're doing now, we're doing a package opening. It's interesting to see other vloggers when they do all-nighters and they do, they do, oh, up for 24 hours, all-nighter, and how ragged they are the next day. That's kind of what it is. It, it goes you know, without saying that if you're going to be up all night long and you're going to depri be depriving yourself of sleep, two packages in one. I don't think I know what this is, but uh, anyways. You're depriving yourself of sleep was going to end up happening is uh the functionality that you're used to just kind of disappears okay ah wasn't what i was not what i was expecting these are cable cutter and crimper Here we go. Very nice. Although the work I'm done right now is already over, but uh, still. Drop that. Here is the second the second package. Second package is ah okay. These are guards to protect your hands and protect your fingers while you're chopping with a knife. So I got I've got two of them. So these are kitchen utensils. So uh, electronics uh, for stuff for the electronics bench, bench and stuff for the kitchen. That's what came in. Yay for that! And uh, I think I'm going to end it here because uh, there's really not, really not really much more to say. Uh, I will be doing more of the weekend vlog, so see you see you then. Well, it is uh, six hours and seventeen minutes into the day of Sunday, March seventh, uh, two thousand twenty-one, and. I think this is going to be a one and only, one and only clip for the day. Uh, although probably not. It really depends. Uh, I'm in going into the last few hours of a very 
Oh, oh. Long weekend in terms of meditation. <clears throat> so, there might not be much. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it does take a bit of time to understand as you begin to learn about uh, more what you can do in terms of pushing your limits. Uh, there is, as you start to finish, the fatigue hits very hard because you're pushing at the edge of your limits. This is this is where you you haven't been before, or at least haven't been in a very long time. Maybe you've done this before, but not uh, uh, too often. So uh, this is the situation here, and so. As we come to a close, as we come to the last few hours, um, uh, this is where you start start to feel the tr the strain. This is where you start to feel, in many cases, the pain, uh, because there is a physiological effect. Um, this is where, in many cases. Um, when you talk about the physical physical conditioning within yoga, uh, this is the, called the holistic experience where the body uh, sort of joins the mind uh, in, or the, in the spiritual activity in terms of pushing your limit. And this is this is how the meditation uh, becomes whole and complete. As much as you've pushed forward, it's this, it, it's it, you understand that you're still pretty much on the path. There is, and you're not going towards an end destination. You're just simply going towards the next uh, major point where you can stop and say, "Okay, I've done a sufficient amount of work. My body is, in some cases, exhausted. Uh, I'm going to take a bit of a break." Uh, that's not going to occur until basically Wednesday. Um. And then you'll take a day or two, or maybe a little bit longer, um, to let your body recover, and then you start off on the next path, on, on to the next point. You know, uh, the the rest between the rest at points are, are is very brief. It doesn't the, doesn't take that long, and then you're off to the next point. And it, and I think is sometimes, uh, while you do have major points where you can take longer to rest or longer to note that you've made some degree of success or you've seen a change, uh, a significant change or a significant, a significant, significant difference uh, between what you uh, were before and what you are now in terms of uh, your capacity, your capability, and, and where you're in terms in terms of the overall path where you're heading, um, and sometimes you do end up down the wrong direction, and you have to sort of realize, okay, I've made a wrong turn someplace, and go back and try to figure out where that mistake was. Uh, uh, but none, nonetheless, you, you do begin to develop realizations. You do begin to sort of understand. Uh, how um, how you interact with others to become more aware of that as well as as you enter into this whole thing of neutral jin or neutral jing, however you want to pronounce it. And there seems to be some uh, sort of disagreement with 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 the actual pronunciation itself. Some will call it jing, some will call it jin. Um, And it's the state you want to get to is a state of super awareness. And as I was having a discussion over the last couple of days, it's also the entry point at where you start entering a good state of almost continuous forgiveness, where you are not allowing anger or any of the other, you're not allowing anger to take your place. 
to take its place. In other words, you're able to deal with the emotions that you have surrounding when people do something to offend you. Um, so the sense of offense isn't there. But now you're starting to, to get into a state of, of, of calm that allows you to experience the world in a much better fashion. And it's, it's, again, we're it, it, talking about the term woke. Well, there's a, there, it's not just, a, it's not an absolute term. It's not you are woke and that's it. There is a variety of degrees of woke. How far have you gone? How, you know, and this, this is sort of indicated by the path itself. Uh, and of course, you have to, you have to sort of ask your question, where is the end point or what direction that the end point is in? Are you going to become one with the creation or are you going to become one With the Creator, uh, becoming one with the Creator is basically immortality, and you continue on that path, the path becomes infinite in length, and the other is finite. Because you end with the reality of, of this particular universe. So, anyways, uh, I think this will be sufficient for now. We're back in our office here, we've done more in her office uh, than we typically would have done. So, uh, <laughs> uh, gives us a new place to vlog, a new sort of background. And uh, onward and upward. <laughs>